Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bow, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. My Facebook page is Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed. And I'm going to try and put the link down there. Hopefully I can do that. I want to talk to you today about adhesives. This is our 101 series where we're just getting to the very, very super duper basics. Um, it can be overwhelming when you're first starting out stamping. And then again, there's a lot to learn even if you're seasoned. So let's look real quick at what we have. This first one here, I'm going to go by the book. This first one here is a Fast Fuse Adhesive. Okay, It is a permanent adhesive, and all you do is put your finger on it like this and drag it, and then you've got to kind of snap it to one side or the other. Okay, They call it a check. They just say, do, it, do like a check mark. And that way it keeps it from binding up on this roller thingy. Now, to change them out, I usually take the part that's not the business end. This one is because the actual cartridge connects in here by these little pokey things. <laughs> pokey things. That's, that is an official crafter term, pokey things. And it just makes it easier if, if when I'm changing it out, I have that open and the right side at the right place, and there you go, you're ready to go again. The main thing is, put your finger here, pull it this way. If you start doing that way, you're gonna ruin it. So, there's Fast Fuse. The Snail Adhesive, same thing. It's got the ridges here, you open it up, you do the same thing to replace it. It's got a little door on this one, and you just zing it along. You never wanna go that way with it, because again, that will mess it up. So when you zing it along, you don't have to check it off or anything. The snail adhesive, while it is a permanent adhesive, it's a little more forgiving. Um, for example, if you have a strip of paper and you just want to see how something looks, you can put just a tiny, tiny bit of snail on there and take your item and stick it on there and you're like, oh, well, that's not quite the green I wanted. And you can gently peel it up, or if you've got a little bit more on there, you could huff on it, <sighs> and, and it peels right up, okay? Now, let's say you didn't want it there at all, and you want to get rid of this adhesive. You take your eraser, and you just go scooch, scooch, scooch. Scooch is a word. It is. Trust me. I just made it. Scooch, and look at that completely gone. Okay? Now that's the snail adhesive. The next is the fine tip glue pen. Um, I have its cousin, the fine line applicator, and the reason I have this one and not this one is because I had this one and then they came out with this. So um, it works the same way. It's got a nail here and a nail here and basically your um, adhesive, your liquid adhesive is down in here and in order to close it up, you got to put, I'll try and make it where you can see, you've got to put the nail into the, into its little sheath or whatever you want to call it, nail thing, okay? And then you just go straight down and that keeps the, um, the thing that the glue pours through, it keeps it clean and it keeps it from getting all stopped up in there, okay? That's the fine tip glue pen. And you would use that for heavy embellishments um, you could use it for light embellishments. You might use it with um, little sequins or something like that. I would also use it with 3D projects such as um, boxes and you know folding things and making sure they're going to stay. But my go-to for that sort of thing is not only the Tombow but the Tarantate adhesive. So we'll talk about the Tombow first. Um, this is a liquid glue. It works just as great as this Fast Fuse does. Once you put it on there, you're done. Except with the Tombow, you've got a couple of minutes to scooch it around, maybe seconds. Um, if you if you get it just a little off, and I'm a perfectionist, so I, I do this a lot. You need to you can just turn it just a bit, and this glue will still be um, wet enough where you should be able to do that. Now, if you wait too long, it's glue, it's dried on there, and that's that. You have to start over. Okay, so this is the Tombow, and I do love it for um, for 3D projects, boxes, bags, things like that. Um, the Tear and Tape, same thing. I like this for the 3D projects. 
It's got a um, white paper tape over it. It's double-sided, and when you peel it up, you just tear it. I'll show you a smaller one that I've got. Um, it goes like this, and it's super simple to just tear off. And that's what we do. And that is perfect for 3D projects. Okay, so then we have the mini, the mini glue dots. Come on, little glue dots. Where are you? Okay. These also protected with a piece of plastic tape, a uh, plastic paper. And you can use, now I, you can use your scissors to do this, but I found this really odd tool that we all kind of hate and we see at the dentist office. But I found it at a hardware store and it was clean and new and all this and I got it. And I use this thing all the stinking time. Um, if you want to roll one of these glue dots, you can. This is for um, if you tie a tiny bow with ribbon, you can put this behind the knot of the bow and bam, your bow is going to stay on there. Um, if you need dots for, you know, buttons or anything else like that, this particular tool I pick up two at a time and I go splat, splat, put them both on and um, they're good to go. So um, I use this for embellishments all the time. My five-year-old granddaughter has mastered the glue dots. She even has her very own. I've told you about the tear and tape. So now let's go over to the Stampin' Dimensionals. And again, this is a 101 series where I'm just teaching you um, the uses for, um, for all of these products. The Stampin' Dimensionals, there are two sizes now. There are the um, regular Stampin' Dimensionals at 1 1 16th inch thick. And then there are the minis, which I believe are the same thickness, but they're just teeny tiny. Can you see? I hope you can see that way. Okay, I use these to pop things up. Um, for example, on this card here, there are Stampin' Dimensionals behind here, 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 so that these little bottles don't just bow down and flatten out. I've got them behind them too. I used um, Tombow glue to make them sit together in their little box here, their little crate. And I used um, the Stampin' Dimensionals under this here, the green part, to make it pop up, okay? So um, Stampin' Dimensionals, I love them. I enjoy them on everything I make. Okay, then we have the foam adhesive strips. These are amazing, and if you follow my channel, you will see how I use these for sliding, uh, sliding barn door card. That's right, sliding barn door card. Yeah, we have that. Um, you can also use them for shaker cards and spinner cards. They are fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. My um, nine-year-old grandson cannot wait to see what I make for him next because of the things, because of these um, products that actually make me look so stinking smart. It's so funny. He's like, oh, you're the best card maker in the world. And I'll take that, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, the silicone craft sheet here, fabulous. Use it for hot glue. Use it for cold glue. You can take your Tombow, squirt some out. Use a pen, a little, like a stick pen or the edges of your scissors and distribute it on your project. Um, just all the things. You can you can put fast views on here. Um I mean, what I mean is like if you've got a small piece and you don't know where to put it because you don't want this super sticky on there, then you just you just put it on there with this. And well, it won't go right on to here, but it will come off as your, let me see if I can use this. Okay, see how it runs off and then it just, it just breaks right off. It, it won't, it doesn't even want to be dealing with that. It's so good. Um, so this is a great product. I wish I had um, three or four of these, but I've got one. Okay, then we have the multi-purpose adhesive sheets. They are six by 12. I've cut this one down. Um, mine are actually so old, they were back when they had them 12 by 12. And that's what I'm using. And like I said, they're old, but doggone. They work beautifully. And we have, I have an adhesive sheet here. Now, if you can see, how it comes off like this. This is sticky. Now what am I gonna do with that? Well, there's a few things I can do. I can, 
I can put some sort of a um, die on it that I want to use and put it through my Big Shot. And the Big Shot is also going to, uh, I'm also going to demonstrate the Big Shot. Or I can do like this little cupcake. It's a retired punch, but I love it. A little cupcake and I'm just going to go, come on in here. Punch it out. Here's my little cupcake. Oh, it's got a little, little um, whipped little top on it. It's so cute. And then I'm just going to peel that backing off like that. And now I've made a sticker, okay? And guess what I'm going to do with it? For now, just for your viewing pleasure, I'm going to put it right on its little um, punch. Isn't that cute? Now, if you were going to do this and then punch it out, I would probably color it and then punch it. I don't know. Uh, but that that's the way that you would use this adhesive sheet. On page 202 to 203 in the 2017-2018 um, annual catalog, it started on June the 1st and it ends May the 31st, yes, where we will have a new one come in um, for 2018-2019. So do not hesitate to check out this, um, the new catalog, check out this one. In this one, it's pages 202 and 203. There's a suggested use chart here of um, what you would use these things for. And, and there you go. I hope this helps answer some questions. Um, consider stopping by my store. It is kathybow.stampinup.net. I'll have a link below. And also, um, if you have any questions, just um, go to that page. There's a way to email me there. And just send me a note and we'll talk. And hey, if you join my team, if you are in the U.S. and you join my team before March 31st, you will receive four retired stamp sets as long as supplies last. Which means if I have only two left or one left, you get that one. Um, but the people that are signing up, they're getting four free stamp sets. Slightly used, slightly loved, but goodness, they're stamp sets and they're going to last forever and ever. So, um, yeah. So if you join my team, you would be able to receive those. Okay. That's it. Looking forward to our third installation, which will be a surprise. Take care and God bless.